What's going on guys, Mackie Sports. <clears throat> My apologies, Mackie Sports back here to talk about <clears throat> day three of the NFL draft and to talk about our last pick last night. Tight end Darnell Washington from Georgia. I'm gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna jump into day three and preview that as well. So last night the Steelers finished off day two of the draft. For them at least. Being able to draft Darnell Washington and pick 93 after trading down from 80 and getting back to that fourth rounder was absolutely fucking huge for this draft, man. Omar Khan and Tomlin have been doing a fucking fine job in my opinion. And this is looking to be one of the best drafts we had in a long time. Darnell Washington was the second tight end at Georgia. Uh, he played... Primarily opposite of Brock Bowers, who was their main tight end. And if not for having Brock Bowers, this kid would probably have um, more production. But he was mainly used as a blocker. And he actually lined up quite often next to Broderick Jones. His, uh, you know, alumni, former alumni, and now their teammates. So, Washington's like a sixth offensive lineman in there. He's super athletic. He's like 6'6". He's big. He's faster than you think. And man, adding him to that tight end room led by Friar Muth, the Muth, you know, Zay Gentry resigned. He's more of a run blocker. You drafted Connor Hayward last year, who's probably going to fill more into a, a fullback hybrid kind of role because I don't think we're going to sign Derek Watt. So now, so now you got those three. Again, Hayward's probably going to go more into that fullback kind of hybrid role. And then you had Darnell Washington, who, you know, is going to be a, a great run blocker to have. You can run these big personnel packages now and essentially just play power football. And, you know, that's really how this team's going to be built to win. That's how they're building it, at least. So I really love this pick. I mean, we're talking about a prospect, and that on most people's boards was like a top 50 some even as high as top 40 prospect. Um, one of the best tight ends in the draft. And the fact that we were able to get him at pick 93 is crazy. The only thing they said was there were some minor, small, like, medical issues with maybe his knees. But other than that, I mean, this dude's going to be a fucking beast. And uh, got to love it. You got to love that pick, man. A lot of people wanted him. I was wanting him, and the fact that we were able just to trade out of 80, because I was fine with 80, getting him there. You know, some people had him being mocked as high as, like, top 30, even somewhere, you know, late first round, maybe secondish round early. But, man, for us to be able to get him at 93, fucking awesome. So, that was a good way to finish the night off. So, let's talk about today, then, and where that leads us. Position wise, and let's just do a little preview. So today we have uh, three three draft picks. I want to say uh, one fourth rounder and two seventh rounders. Way late. So, and our fourth round that we got back last night, it's gonna be way late in the fourth round. So like thirtieth pick there. Really looking at depth players here. So we. We already dressed some offensive line. We dressed tight end. Uh, you got Keanu Benton last night. Defensive line. Maybe a special teams kind of linebacker. <clears throat> perhaps. Or maybe a safety. Maybe a safety. Um, you know, I'm not really too sure where we're going to go today. I'm thinking of depth players. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe a receiver. I know we love taking those. I could potentially see a receiver. I'm not really sure, you know. Oh, edge depth. We have to look for edge depth. That, oh, yeah. That's my number one thing I'm looking at today. Got to get some edge depth there. Someone to, as we already know, get fucking TJ and Alex Highsmith to fucking breather. Unless they plan to Marvin Leal playing that role. We got to get some edge depth there. So I'm thinking edge depth. Maybe a receiver. Some safeties. Or... Middle linebacker. I don't know it's kind of hard to say 
but I'd probably go today. I'd probably look for linebackers, you know, maybe middle linebackers or linebackers that play on the edge. That's where I would look. So maybe linebackers and receivers, maybe a safety depends, really just depends who's there. But the round, round four is about to start here in a little bit. So, you know, I guess we'll do a little video later, kind of recapping day three. And then I'll probably do a big video tomorrow, uh, just talking about the entire draft, my grades for each day and how I think this class is really gonna turn out. And uh, let's see how today plays. So it's gonna be a long, longest draft day of the three, as it's four, five, six, seven. More of a depth day, but you can still find starters. So let's see it.